This week we're making homemade lavender essential oil in the microwave. Until recently I've always made lavender essential oil in a traditional distiller but then I found this incredible alternative. It's a simple kit that allows you to make lavender essential oil at home in just six minutes using the microwave. I'm Sarah Janes from Soap School. Thanks so much for joining me today. Distilling essential oils traditionally takes a lot of space and time, but this system makes them in literally just six minutes. And even better, the oils are generally a purer quality as it's under heat for much less time. And the microwaves actually explode the cell wall of the plants and that releases unique elements that can't usually be extracted by normal steam distillation. We went for the SNX 100A. Basically, it just means that you can make more of them in one go. This is your main collection vessel. So this is the main pot and they also supply the heat proof base and that makes sure that when this is quite warm it's not going to break by putting it onto a cold surface. You're also going to get a freezer cone and a little collar. And let me just show you the collar quickly. So this collar clips together to make a cone and I've already made one of them up. So this is the one we've already clipped together and your cone assembly pops onto the top. Now, because we ordered the 100A version, we actually got five of these. So we got five of the cones, five of the collars. And then on top of that is going to be this foam assembly. So this eventually is going to sit this way down so that this screw goes into the water and basically it's going to freeze into the ice cone itself. And I'll show you that once we've actually frozen it up, but that's going to go in there. This is the base shield and this is going to keep all of the plant matter nicely around the edges. And then we're going to have our collection beaker that goes inside there. And that's where all of our hydrosols or our floral waters and our essential oils are going to collect. And then we have the top shield, which just pops onto the top. And onto there is going to go our ice core that we're going to be making. It will actually be screwed onto the lid and the lid goes over the top so that the ice shield goes down into the center. And this literally is going to just go into the microwave for six to eight minutes. And we are going to have some pretty stonkingly good essential oils and our own beautiful hydrosol. So let's start putting everything together so you can see how to actually use it. When it comes, it's just a whole load of parts and you just kind of like, what the heck do I do with all of this? Well, the good thing is it comes with a bit of an instruction guide. Now I have to say, I think they could do a bit of a better job with this, but hopefully this is going to help you. So 230 grams is what they recommend that you use. The final thing we need to do is to just pop this into the top. So that just pops onto the top and that whole thing is just literally going to go into our freezer. I'd normally leave it overnight until it's properly frozen. Our core is now freezing. Imagine that we're the next day. We need to fill our container up with our beautiful, don't they look gorgeous? We actually picked these from our own garden. And I don't think the bumblebees liked us very much, but we do love our lavender. So the first thing to do is I'm going to put some flowers in first, just a few, but I'm going to pop them to one side and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to put some in and kind of press them a little bit up against the side. What we don't want to do is to pack them in. We don't want to compact them really, really tightly but I'm not going to put very many in before I use my lower shield. That's going to go into the center. So there is lavender everywhere out in the fields. It's so beautiful. And I've been lucky enough to spend a little bit of time watching the Tour de France this year. I love watching the Tour de France. Do you watch it or are you into another type of sport? But bike racing for me, absolutely love it. And as they're cycling all of the way through France, there are there's just these amazing fields and fields of lavender. Just so beautiful. Steam is going to go through all of these beautiful flowers 
and then they're going to release that gorgeous aromatic oil and we're also going to have a beautiful hydrosol the hydrosol is literally the water that has been used in the distillation process so it has all of the same properties as your lavender essential oil and it has that beautiful fragrance too so the next thing to do is to put our collection beaker into the center inside the bottom shield and that is where all of the water is going to collect so it's going to condense and it's going to go into that collection beaker and the liquid in that collection beaker at the end is going to be our hydrosol and on the surface of that is going to be floating our beautiful lavender essential oil so our ice core has now frozen solid you can see it's nicely frozen so we can take off our foam assembly but we also need to remove this disc that was on the surface as well because it does clearly state on here not to put it in the microwave so let's follow instructions <laughs> so now i've got my ice core but i need to attach the lid to this so it's got a screw frozen into it and that screw needs to come through the lid and you can screw the little knob onto the lid and that holds the core now into place so the final step is to pop this lid straight onto the top and actually if i turn this around you can see they've even got some pretty stickers telling you to be careful because it's going to become hot <laughs> So the final thing that we need to do is to pop this into the microwave and it's going to go in for six to eight minutes. So let's pop this baby in the microwave. Now, one thing that I forgot to mention is that it comes with a mug and you need to fill the mug with water and pop that in the microwave just at the side. Wow. We've left this for a couple of minutes just to allow it to finish off. And ideally you want a little bit of ice left on the lid itself at this stage. Oh, did you get a whiff of that steam? I hope it smells good to you as it does to me. So now you can see we've got the flowers still all around the bottom. And then we've got the hydrosol and essential oil in the middle. I need to remove the beaker from the inside and again it really doesn't make a difference whether you leave this for a while certainly do not go and burn yourself after making all of that gorgeous hydrosol and oil most of the essential oils 95 percent of them are going to be in the very top section of here because oil is lighter than water so it floats oh my gosh oh it smells so good so what we need to do now is just start pouring off into our flask there we go and then if you just start to twist the flask a little bit spin it it helps to separate the essential oil it helps it to pull up to the surface and then we just need a pipette to pull off the essential oils from the top of the material. Now, one thing I didn't mention was how much material we used in our still. And we actually used 120 grams of lavender. So we could have used far more than that. You can put up to 200 grams of material in here. And they actually do a much bigger version of this that still fits in your microwave, but takes three times the material that this does. Now I need you to actually be able to try and see the essential oil. So let me just try and move the camera angle so that you can see this, guys. Okay. Can you see? Let me just... There. Yeah. Can you see the very, very top? Just here. This is the essential oils collecting. And all of the material down here is our hydrosols or... You might know it as your floral water. Now, I have to say, a lot of the time when I'm doing this, I don't actually always separate that off. I leave it all as one. And when I'm making things for myself, I literally just use the hydrosols 
with the essential oil. So it's up to you whether you separate it or not. And I'm going to repeat this for the rest of the material and we'll have a look at the end. Just use your pipette, pop it into the top, squeeze the bulb at the end and then just go into the very, very surface and then just suck up those essential oils and then pop them into your bottle. And just repeat that as many times as you need to do it so that you get all of your oils. And then this is going to go into a separate bottle and we're going to keep that in a cool place. And then I'll be using this in all of my home cosmetics. Now the next phase is just literally to take the hydrosol from our flask and pour it into a bottle. Now you can use something like a, a Poca 3 or vintage bottle or any type of bottle that you like. These are super cute, they've got the stoppers in them. But I'm not gonna use that today because I am, well, I feel like I'm super lucky. I actually have a glass bottle that says fragrant lavender toilet water. Isn't that beautiful? And that is what I keep mine in when I make them, in small amounts anyway because I just like pretty things. If you're gonna make a beautiful product and you happen to see one of them in the store, of course you're gonna buy it, who wouldn't? <laughs> so, just gonna pour that in. And I use hydrosols in so many different things. And of course I use them in my soap too. So I have a question for you. Do you like lavender? Or are you someone who just doesn't like lavender at all? I know it really does polarise very, very much. I really don't mind if there's a little bit of oil from the lavender in there at all. That's a bonus. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at that. Almost to the drop. And then seal my bottle. And I'll just keep this in a cool place until we start making it into beautiful cosmetics. Well, here it is, everyone. Doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? I wish I could find these bottles in other varieties as well. It's the only one I've ever found. And I always love to put my lavender water in there. So I've got a big bottle of lavender water. I've got essential oil as well. So I hope that you enjoyed having a look at this type of essential oil still. It's a different way of distilling your products but it really is so lovely and it's so fast and the great thing is it doesn't have to be something like lavender you could distill almost anything yourself and use it at home for making your own beautiful products now if you've enjoyed today's video why not hit the subscribe button and if you ding the bell you'll get a notification every time that i've uploaded something fun to share with you thanks so much for being with us today i'll see you soon